It's always interesting to see what one passionate and talented individual can achieve on his or her own. And there's something about one person doing the entire work of a team and doing it well that intrigues us. Bright memory is just that. Made by FYQD Studio, the solo dev Zheng Xianzheng impresses us with what he has done, but can his indie title hold up against other AAA games? It's time to find out. In Bright Memory, you play as Shelia, a supernatural science research or SRO agent who gets transported to another world where she has to battle otherworldly creatures and also human enemies who were transported here alongside her. There isn't much story offered here as this game seems more like a tech demo at the moment. These two worlds are connected like a pair of twins. For one to survive, the other must be sacrificed. Long time no see, Shelia. Carter, why are you... I advise you to stay out of this matter. Where am I? How amazing. The music is serviceable. Not terrible, but not great either. It serves the gameplay well and keeps up with the action that's happening on screen. The voice acting here is decent, though the poor lip syncing to the English voice acting could have made it seem worse. Shelia's voice actor does a good job with what's given to her, though some of her lines can be rather cringe at times. Sound effects seem to be lacking on the lower end, with a lot of the bass not coming through in the gunfire, making the guns feel less punchy and lacking weight behind each gunshot. It's impressive what the dev has accomplished here visually. The game looks good with character models looking like what you maybe expect from a AAA title but some of the textures here look a little low res, almost like a smaller map was being used on some assets, making it rather jarring from the rest of the world. What's impressive here is the lighting. Shadows and reflections here look crisp, with it being on par if not better than some of the games it is trying to go up against. The UI on the other hand, I am not a fan of. I was playing at 4K and some of it doesn't look like it's scaled properly. The skill menu looked bland and uninspired here which kind of brings down the overall sci-fi aesthetic that the game was trying to go for. Bright Memory's gunplay feels generic, with the guns never feeling all that impactful. There's only 3 guns on offer here, a pistol, an SMG and a shotgun. The shotgun being the best as it can fire as fast as you can click, making it almost feel like a full auto shotgun. Shelia is also equipped with a sword, though using it is a skill that has a cooldown meaning you can't exactly spam it. And once you use the sword skill, a meter starts to deplete before it's on cooldown again. There's also an EMP blast which behaves like the pull from Mass Effect and enemies hit by it will start floating in the air which you can shoot. Killing enemies grants EXP which can be used to unlock more skills like slowing down time and a lightning strike. All these skills are mapped to the same button as the EMP, meaning you press it once, twice or three times to use the desired skill which could have felt a lot more natural if they were assigned to other buttons instead. Shilia also has a grapple which can be used on specific points for traversal and also for pulling herself towards enemies. To break up the action, there were two puzzles to solve which weren't too difficult, with one of them being just platforming to get to a switch. When it comes to boss fights, only two are offered here as well, though they did provide some challenge. Bright Memory has its fun moments, but at the end of the day, it is a tech demo which took me just an hour to complete. It's impressive with what this dev was able to come up with on his own, but it is hard to recommend. Even though it's $10, it's hard to say it's worth even that. Gamers looking to buy it should probably see it as a show of support to the dev. He is currently working on Bright Memory Infinite, set to release this year which would be a proper game and I'm curious to see what he could accomplish with an actual team behind him, but currently, this isn't the Astartes of video games. <laughs>